Hello, my name is Dina Edwards, and I would like to share my testimony with you called Beauty for Ashes. I had a subtle lie that followed me most of my life, and it was just ever so subtle. I would not be loved. My parents had me in their 40s, and they said I was an accident, and they told me that several times. I was never played with, never held, um, just all kinds of stuff. And as a child, it's very devastating to you. And I carried these things up into mid-twenties, and I met my husband. He has such a light in his eyes, and I have never known anybody like him. I wonder what he had. We got married, and Christmas was fastly approaching, and he asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, I want to buy a block and understand, because I had a learning disorder growing up. And he bought me my very first Bible that I could understand. I read through it. I gave my life to Christ. And I started to see God as my perfect father. And... As I was growing in my marriage and growing in Christ, I was just on fire. And, you know, life just couldn't get better. <laughs> and my biggest fear was to open my heart to someone else, not Jason or my daughter, but other people, and I'd be hurt and I wouldn't be loved. 2011 came and we met this couple and we adored them. We started hanging out. It was just amazing. And we loved them like family. And then as 2011 was approaching to an end, we knew something was wrong, but we know that we didn't do anything wrong. They just started drifting from us. And then by 2012, they cut us out of their life completely. And it hurt us. And my biggest fear was met head on. Jason gave it to Christ immediately. But I held on to it longer than I should have. I was angry at God for allowing my heart to be hurt. But he knew what he was doing. And I just didn't see it then. But my life was turned upside down. I cried a lot. I overate. Days I didn't eat. I didn't laugh. It, it was extremely hard. I had roots forming in my heart that were strife and bitterness and anger and unforgiveness. And, you know, those things just don't need to be there. And I actually put them first before God. And God's a jealous God. He's not going to have that. And I was holding on to them tightly. God said it's time to release it. And I just didn't want to. You know, I was not ready to forgive. And it consumed my life. And there were some dark days. I stop praying because it seemed so hard I barely opened my Bible because it just it's hard for me and <laughs> there was one day I broke down in my kitchen and I was crying so hard and Jason was like Dana what's wrong and I just could not form words because I didn't know what was wrong. Something inside me just broke. And then came one night when it was snowing and I decided to get out and I drove and then eventually parked and I beat the living daylights out of my steering wheel and I yelled at God a lot <laughs> and I said to him if you can relate to me and any way then relate to me now and you know he was silent for a moment but he spoke to my heart 
He said, I can relate to you. I've been rejected. People continually reject me. And he showed me Jesus in the garden where he was sweating great drops of blood in prayer. And then he was up on the cross. And he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And he spoke to my heart. He said, forgive them and let it go. And I'm like, really? What about my hurt and my heart? And it was like, I was trying to make them pay a price that they couldn't pay. And I said, okay, God, I'll let it go, and I'll forgive, but I need your help. And I asked him to renew me, restore the joy and peace that I had allowed Satan to steal. I asked him to refresh me, to set my heart on fire again for him. And I hadn't written in my journal for a long time during that time. And I loved to write. But I wrote out several pages of who I am in Christ. And I can say today that I truly forgive. And I have allowed God to do His work in me. He's even allowed me to help other people who have been hurt or who have uh, low self-esteem because they feel like they're not wanted or loved or that they're beautiful. And I can say to people today, God loves you with a love that cannot be understood. Our minds are limited. We can't fathom how much God loves us, but He does. He, he sent his son to die for us. And that is such a precious gift. I want to tell you that I have allowed God to take me from a caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. And, you know, my life is so much filled with laughter and joy and contentment and Everything that I have, God has blessed me with. All the holes that God has shaped in me, He filled Himself with. And I could not be more happier. Because I've seen some deep valleys, but He has never left me or forsaken me. And He's taught me so much about who I am. And... You know, I want to leave you with a few words. Love like you've never been hurt. Put your expectations on God for He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never hurt you. He will never disappoint you. People will. God loves you. Let Him transform you into what he wants you to be because he can make you more beautiful in him and it is so so worth it just allow him to work in you let him use your life and don't be afraid to share your testimony because you can have the key to unlock someone's prison don't ever be afraid to share a testimony or what you've been through or how badly you've ever been hurt because with God nothing is ever wasted he will use everything I pray that my testimony has blessed you I've really enjoyed talking with you and for now I'm going to say bye <laughs>